During World War II, secret military bases were busy protecting America from unseen threats. Soldiers trained hard, plans were made in hidden bunkers, and every part of these bases helped keep the nation safe. Now, these important places are silent and abandoned, with their stories hidden under layers of dust and time. In this video, we'll explore the eerie past and hidden secrets of seven forgotten military bases in the United States. Make sure to watch this video till the end to uncover the surprising discoveries that lie within these mysterious sites. Number seven, Fort Jefferson. Located in the Florida Keys, Fort Jefferson is a massive brick structure built as part of the United States coastal defense system in the mid 19th century. It was designed to protect one of the most crucial deep water anchorages in North America, guarding the nation against potential threats from the sea. The construction of Fort Jefferson began in 1846 and continued for over 30 years, but it was never fully completed. Despite its intended purpose, the fort was eventually abandoned, leaving behind a colossal, mostly deserted fortress. But this isn't just any abandoned fort. Today, Fort Jefferson is part of the Dry Tortugas National Park, a remote and stunning sanctuary accessible only by boat or seaplane. Now you might be wondering, what secrets might this massive structure hold today? The fort itself is an incredible sight, being one of the largest masonry structures in the Western Hemisphere, made up of over 16 million bricks. The turquoise waters of the Gulf of Mexico surround the fort, creating a stunning contrast with its rugged brick exterior. But Fort Jefferson's story doesn't end with its abandonment. During the Civil War, it served as a prison for Union deserters and later held the infamous Dr. Samuel Mudd, who was convicted of conspiring to assassinate President Abraham Lincoln. Number six, Mare Island Naval Shipyard. Located in California, this shipyard holds the distinction of being the first US Navy base on the Pacific coast established in 1854. This historic site played a crucial role in America's naval operations for over a century. It was a bustling hub of activity, where ships were built, repaired, and launched, serving as a vital asset during both world wars and beyond. However, like many grand establishments of the past, Mare Island Naval Shipyard eventually faced its end. Decommissioned in 1996, the shipyard was left to the elements and time. Today, it stands partly abandoned, with some areas repurposed for commercial use. Despite its decommissioning, Mare Island Naval Shipyard hasn't entirely closed its gates. Some areas remain open to the public, offering a rare glimpse into a world that once thrived with naval prowess. Historic tours are available that allow visitors to walk through the dry docks, old shipyard buildings, and other historic structures that tell tales of maritime glory and industrial might. One of the most striking features of Mare Island is its dry docks, where countless ships once rested, undergoing repairs or awaiting their next mission. The old shipyard buildings are weathered and worn as silent sentinels of a bygone era. Number five, Fort Tilden. Fort Tilden in New York holds a significant place in American history, having been used for coastal defense during both World War I and World War II. During its peak, it was a vital part of the nation's defense system, standing watch over the Atlantic coast and ready to respond to any threats that might approach by sea. Today, Fort Tilden is a shadow of its former self, mostly abandoned, but not forgotten. It is now part of the Gateway National Recreation Area. The fort's remnants are scattered across the landscape, inviting explorers to step back in time and imagine what life might have been like during its operational days. The ruins of military buildings and bunkers are some of the most compelling aspects of Fort Tilden. These structures, weathered by time and the elements, stand as haunting reminders of the fort's past. Walking among them, you can almost hear the whispers of history, the echoes of soldiers who once stood guard here. The decaying walls and empty corridors evoke a sense of mystery and wonder. Number four, the Ghost Fleet. Located in Suisun Bay, California, the Ghost Fleet is a haunting and fascinating collection of decommissioned ships from World War II and the Cold War era. These ships once played crucial roles in some of the most significant conflicts in history, but now they rest in eerie silence, abandoned in the bay. The reason these ships were left here is simple. The cost of scrapping them was just too high. So, they were retired and anchored in Suisun Bay, creating a maritime graveyard that seems frozen in time. Over the years, the elements have taken their toll, 
and the once mighty vessels are now rusting and decaying, giving the fleet an even more ghostly appearance. While you can't walk among the ships or explore them up close, the ghost fleet can be viewed from a distance, and it's a sight that sparks the imagination. This base isn't just a collection of abandoned ships, it's a floating piece of history. Each vessel has its own story, its own past filled with battles fought and journeys made. I hope you are enjoying this video so far, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more exciting explorations. Number 3. Fort Hancock Fort Hancock in New Jersey is a historic military base built in the late 1800s for coastal defense. Its primary purpose was to protect New York Harbor from potential naval threats. Over the years, it served as a key defense point, especially during times of conflict, ensuring the safety of the vital waters it overlooked. Today, Fort Hancock stands as a proof to its storied past, with many of its buildings still standing, though in varying states of decay. Walking through the fort, you can see the remnants of its former glory, with crumbling walls and old structures that speak of a time long gone. The aging buildings, some overgrown with vegetation, create an atmosphere of both mystery and nostalgia. Fort Hancock is now part of the Sandy Hook unit of the Gateway National Recreation Area, making it accessible to the public. Visitors can explore the site and immerse themselves in its rich history. The fort's location on Sandy Hook offers a beautiful setting where history meets nature, providing a unique experience for those who visit. The Sandy Hook Lighthouse here is the oldest working lighthouse in the United States that guides ships safely along the coast, as it has for over 250 years. Number 2. Cape May Bunker Situated in New Jersey, this abandoned bunker is a relic from World War II designed to protect the Delaware Bay from potential enemy attacks. This concrete fortress played a crucial role during the war, standing ready to defend the coastline against any threats that might come from the sea. After the war, the bunker was decommissioned and left to the elements. Over the decades, it has been slowly reclaimed by nature. Today, the Cape May bunker is visible on the beach, partially buried in sand, creating a striking and somewhat eerie sight. Its abandoned structure tells a silent story of the past, standing as a monument to the turbulent times during which it was built. The bunker is not the only piece of history in the area. Nearby, the World War II lookout tower still stands tall, open to visitors who want to get a glimpse of the past. This tower was used to spot enemy ships and coordinate coastal defenses, and it now offers a fascinating peek into the strategic operations of the time. Number 1. Fort Pike Fort Pike is located in Louisiana and was built in 1826 with the primary purpose of defending New Orleans from potential naval attacks. This fort, with its strategic location and sturdy construction, was a crucial part of the coastal defense system, standing guard to protect the city from threats that might approach from the Gulf of Mexico. Today, Fort Pike tells a different story. Damaged by hurricanes over the years, the fort has been mostly abandoned. The powerful storms that have swept through the region have left their mark, causing significant damage and leaving the fort in a state of disrepair. The once mighty walls and structures now stand as a reminder of the fort's vulnerability to the forces of nature. Despite its damaged state, Fort Pike's old brick fortifications still hold a certain charm. The eerie, swampy surroundings add to the fort's mystique, creating an atmosphere that feels both haunting and intriguing. Unfortunately, Fort Pike is currently closed to the public due to the extensive storm damage. However, it remains visible from the outside, and those who pass by can still catch a glimpse of its storied past. And there you have it, guys. But wait, I have a surprise for you. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to watch our Hidden Ghost Towns in America video. And let us know if you have ever visited any abandoned military base,